Welcome to Reality Meeting. Everything works together for good to them who are called according to his purpose. For you cannot be fulfilling your purpose and things are going bad for you. It's impossible. If things are going bad, if things are bad for you, then you're not fulfilling your purpose. Please subscribe to this channel and turn on the notification bell. Things are going bad. Is it from challenges? So, praise the Lord. In life, there are challenges. Things happen in life. Challenges will come. Temptations will come. Trials will come. We know. But if you are fulfilling your purpose, you cannot be defeated by those challenges. It's like somebody who's winning soul. Somebody whose priority is always to talk to somebody about Jesus Christ. The person cannot just die anyhow. The person cannot be in penury. Unless the person don't know the gospel they are preaching to somebody else. If you know the gospel, you have accepted Jesus and you know the truth for yourself. And you go out there and all you do when you have an encounter with somebody, you don't necessarily have to be on, go on the streets. But every time you see somebody, you talk to them about Jesus. If it's your priority, then there's no way something's going to befall you. It doesn't happen. I've not seen it happen before. Some people said, well, but I know that person. This person really loved God. He really loved God. And I asked the person, are you in the person's heart? Were you there? Praise the Lord. I know why I'm saying the things I'm saying. Because we have been through tough times. We have been through so many challenges that what happened to some people and they, and they, they were off. But we are, we are still here. Praise the Lord. Wherever you find yourself, whatever you find yourself doing, please, mostly when it's, it's towards the work of the ministry, please don't ever think that without you it won't be done. Don't ever think that you are doing it for God. You are not doing it for God, you are doing it for yourself. It's for your own benefit. Praise the Lord. I know some people, some people, and there are some people. They, they can be around and be doing the things for, you know, things like maybe working in the ministry or whatever they are doing towards the work of the ministry. But you will never hear them say something. But if you have the kind of ears that we have, you will hear them say it. But behind closed doors, to some other people, they say nasty things. They're probably not going to say it in front of you. Because if you are the leader in the church or whatever. But they are saying it out there. Don't be like that. And when you see them and they tell you, you too, talk to them. Tell them the truth. Tell them that. Brother, sister, it's not like that. Don't go on. Because honestly, if you came to the, to, the, for, for the, to the church, for instance, and you're maybe working in a department and you're finished working and the heaven has recognized your work, well, honestly, they're not going to recognize it because they know your heart. But let's imagine that they did know your heart and they recognized it. And then you went out there and said, bad things about what you just did. Do you know you just cancelled the work? <laughs> Praise the Lord. I let me use a department that that will make sense. So, somebody is in the media department and nobody forced them to be in the media department. They chose to be in the media department. And you know what the media does, right? Well, let's say choir. Let's use choir. Everybody knows what choirs do. do. Somebody came to join choir. Nobody asked, nobody forced you to join the choir. You said, I like to sing, let me join them and sing. And you were singing, and people are appreciating your voice, you know, good voice. And three months later, I'm now hearing, or oh, your leader is now hearing things like, ah man, they don't even help somebody in that church. Said, Do you know if I went to sing somewhere else that they would pay me money? You just defeated that whole purpose. Then you might as well just stay at home, let somebody else come and sing this. Because if you don't come and sing, somebody else will sing it. And honestly, you are not the best singer. Let me just be honest with you, first of all. <laughs> honestly, if I, I wish I have somebody that's going to come and tell me that as a friend. And say that thing. You, hmm, I, one day, maybe, hopefully somebody does. I will record the thing, I will tell the person. Even you that are listening to the thing, I told the person, you'll be crying for the person. You know, because a lot of people think that the, the little thing they know how to do is substantial enough to carry them. They think that they are doing somebody a favor 
for doing something they know how to do in the house of God. Even if you were doing it for somebody who needed your help, it was a privilege. Many times I do something for someone and they're saying thank you and I say, can I tell myself thank you? Like somebody just called me like last week and said, oh, thank you for blah, blah, blah. And I asked him a question. If I did something for myself, will I tell myself thank you? Just imagine it. You go wake up in the morning, you brush your teeth and you tell yourself thank you for brushing your teeth. So if I do something in the house of God, whether it's World Liberation Ministry or Mountain of Fire or Christ Embers, it doesn't matter where it is. Or Redeem or Winners. If I did something in the house of God, whether it's my home church or not, I don't expect a thank you. Because I'm doing it for the work of the ministry. Am I not part of the body of Christ? Hallelujah. One, one time, long time ago, some years back, maybe six years ago now, I went to, uh, somebody invited me to a church, and I, when I got there, I liked what I saw, because I saw young people thirsty for God, you know, young people, students, and while the service was ending, I realized, it was a summer time, so I realized that this place, the ACA is not cooling very well, and I wanted to just do something. Because I like to do something. God has made me a doer. So I called on the guy I saw sweating. Like I said, brother, come. It looks like those AC are not working well. Let's go and buy AC. I went to buy AC. Those industrial AC. And I said, yeah, any rumor again about this thing that we bought. That maybe I did it for serum. And I laughed. Those kind of things make me laugh. I laughed. My point of saying this is, they can say what they want to say, you can hear what you want to hear, it's free. But, whatever you're doing, make up your mind that it's a privilege. It's a privilege. If you're not here, somebody else would be, think you're not here, if, I wasn't, if I'm not here, if I wasn't there, you think somebody would die of it. You think somebody else would not buy this? No, yes, buy it. So this is a privilege that I can do it. So let's, 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 and for everyone watching me right now, it's a privilege. Whatever you're doing, for some, even for somebody else, it's a privilege. It's a privilege. Even if you, it was your hard-earned money, yes, you worked for it, but you gave it to somebody because you wanted to help them, you are privileged. What if it's the person that's giving you? Be happy and be thankful that you are the one giving to that person. But no, because you have given, you want them to come and be laying down, prostrate, telling you thank you every minute. Uh, hallelujah. Thanks for watching. If you were blessed by the video you just watched, then smash the like button and hit the subscribe button to subscribe to this channel. And turn on the notification bell for more exciting contents from Reality Meeting.